This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Let's, let's definitely just open on Matt's strained yeah. old man. <laughs> All right. Old man stretch, yeah. Look, I... Uh, I'm going to do my best, all right? We got... He, I want to... Yeah. He's halfway to 90, you know? <laughs> That's true. This is a very elegant dining room. It looks like the colonel has some class after all. We've been here, but just now we're noticing. We had no control when we were in here before. That's true. None. We left here in a huff. Yeah. Well, we weren't in a huff, but, you know. Lily well, was in a huff, but, you know, she invited us, so we had to, you know, we had to We had to together. show supportive huffing, huffiness. Yeah. We're, we're a good friend. We are. Oh, we've been in here. Look around. <laughs> oh, You've God. entered the parlor of the old mansion. As against the back wall, you notice a sculpted marble bar, and in the corner, a parrot swings from its bird stand. We've already done that. Line. Bird stand. Yeah. I think Alex should voice the parrot. Done. Oh. I I can certainly try. Ock. <laughs> <laughs> God, perfect. Oh, oh wow! Here comes standard. Cheese with rolls. Oh oh oh. Oh, he, oh ruined. Ruined. <laughs> ruined. Just ruined. Oh, but the uh, the parakeet has a potentially valuable role to play if we get stumped. Uh, it's sort of our hint device. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. nice device. Hey. It's a good component of a, like a murder mystery. A talking parrot that overhears and repeats cryptic pieces of information. Yeah. Probably like 90% of all parrots are called all poly, maybe by a law or something. <laughs> Gloria has a dreamy look on her face as she listens to the music playing on the Victrola. We should start the player piano. I'm Absolutely, yeah. like your we wish should. Is That's a man. brilliant <laughs> idea. Let's ruin this for her. We finally made it happen. We got both playing at once. Crank piano, yeah. I, how could that? That's perfect. <laughs> that oh, was already wow. music oh. playing from a record on the Victrola. <laughs> Why Laura are they so anti cacophony? Not. Laura does not allow me to be the kind of gremlin that I want her to be. It's fine. Next time. I just want to wind up all the music boxes and turn it into just dissonant <laughs> plinking. Do you guys ever do that? If you go to like an Ikea or something, there's a bunch of those like little alarm clocks in, in, in a bin. Do you ever like set a bunch of them to the same time? <laughs> Not yet, but I might next time I do. Now I will. Yeah. yeah. I have a vague recollection of winding up like six or seven music boxes at once <laughs> and just like listening to what was essentially audible panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, in a toy aisle, if there's multiple, like, stuffed animals that react mm -hmm. to, like, movement or sound, I'll, absolutely, all of them need to go off at the same time. I do have a recollection also of watching Enthralled, a YouTube video of two Alexas having a conversation. <laughs> uh, this must be the library. You see many books of various and sundry topics displayed in the bookcases. Tucked into one wall, you notice an elevator shaft. Look. An geez. elevator shaft. Shaft. Leap shaft. Heaves is the colonel's imposing butler. Though you Heaves. find him <laughs> Heaves. Though you find him somewhat good looking, mm. he nevertheless gives off a disconcerting feeling of secretiveness. Mm. You have noticed that Jeeves Heaves generally keeps to himself and seems to talk in little more than monosyllables. Mm. You wonder 
about him. You wonder about him? Well, now we, now we know what Laura's type is. <laughs> <laughs> this werewolf looking guy. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think oh. he's got on that tray? They look uh, like muffins. Yeah. I was thinking like, you know, custard cream puffs or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to go rubber duckies. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. peeps. Perfect. Giant peeps. Oh, they're peeps. You for attempt sure. to talk to Reeves, but he ignores you as he goes about his business. His business is Bring asking the guests if they want <laughs> drinks. Jeeves, I want a peep. Who would you like a drink? No, thank you. Those are rubber Ask ducks. I don't <laughs> want them. Good, because these aren't drinks. Get. Drink. You can fill rubber ducks with stuff, like, because they got a hole in the bottom, so maybe they're filled with drinks. <gasps> That's what it is. You don't care for no. liquor. Remember? That would be great, though. Little rubber ducks that just have liquor in them, so you squeeze it and it just shoots out the bottom hole. Just, no. just you, you press your like <laughs> lips to the anus of the rubber duck and just yeah. squeeze it into your mouth like a vinyl lemon. <laughs> That's what we do down south. That's what they do in Louis- La- they Louisiana, Louisiana, L- L.A., <laughs> Los Angeles, whatever. <laughs> Louisiana, Louisiana. Well, well, I got, I got it all stuck in my mouth. Look, man. <laughs> Dr. Wilbur C. Fields is a pudgy man in his mid-fifties. He seems to be a nervous type and sweats profusely. You wonder about his medical practices and if he ever samples his own wares. You gather that he has been the colonel's personal physician for many years. This is oh. back when medicine was like cocaine, right? That's why you're studying? Yeah. yeah, it's oh, just, yeah. just coke and like <clears throat> math. Basically. Ah, so you're Lillian's friend, Laura, is it? You look very nice, Laura. Very nice indeed. Dirty old man. Talk Wilbur. Is he scratching his head? Uh. Uh, Ah, my dear. Come a little closer. I don't hear well. Yeah. Not on your life. What? He's like the first oh person that has been has even really acknowledged my just. Oh wait a minute! Almost forgot. That, that guy remember Wilbur? <laughs> I think he'd like that. This though. guy. No, oh, he would. That's why we're keeping our distance while we do it. This motherfucker remembers cowboys. That's how old he is. <laughs> I guess they weren't that long ago, eh? Probably not. This is the twenties, I think. Yeah, so, so it would be like thirty years 40, ago. Thirty years, remember. yeah. There'd be cowboys. It'd be like us around. remembering the eighties. Yeah, okay. yeah. The bookcases are crammed full of books. Look, books. You see some mm-hmm. books on the table. Oh, okay. Look, table books. Mm-hmm. See some books on the table. <laughs> Take books. You glance at the titles of various books, but frankly find most of them boring. You decide to pass. That is one of those things, right? Like we'll never know what those titles are. That's right. They did. But want Laura to. knows, but we don't. This appears to be the Colonel's study, as a large desk dominates the room. Upon the desk, you notice a small glass case. At the back of the room, two large cabinets also catch your attention. Look, Fifi. Currently, Fifi looks to be busily cleaning the the colonel's study. Look, rhino. A huge rhino head hangs above the fireplace. Two African spears cross beneath it. Look. You look through the small glass case and notice a little silver derringer mounted upon a blue velvet backing. Open case. Glass case is locked. Break glass. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. That was going to be my (laughs) suggestion. (laughs) It would look suspicious if the derringer were to suddenly disappear. Better leave it there. No. 
I refuse. <laughs> this game does not understand refuse. I, I, I suspect there's not going to be much of a game if you do that. Get gun. Go on killing spree. <laughs> you can't. The gas cl- glass case is locked. Get <gasps> whole case. Case. Game does not understand whole. whole. Okay. Get case. Just it would be too heavy and conspicuous <laughs> to carry around. Just holding the case between your two palms and threatening people. <laughs> Get back! I've got a gun! Start shaking it around just to see if it'll fire. Yeah. It could be loaded, you don't know. <laughs> All of this is going through Laura's head as she stands there. <laughs> just like Sniff. just gun. Unblinking Maybe. eyes. You don't have it. Oh. Sniff case. <laughs> Sniff Fifi. Sniff Fifi. Ooh la la. Sniff Ooh la la. Rhino. <laughs> Sniff the spears, please. Sniff spears. <sighs> and just give that rug a quick once over. <laughs> yeah, rug. good call. <laughs> Look, rug. There are many old and unusual rugs here. Are there? Lies. I see one. It's one. It's one. It's actually just a bunch of rugs on put top of really each other, close right. together, yeah, yeah. and they're all purple. It's a rug puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Lift rug. Try another way to say that. Open rug. 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 You can't do that. But you Look, can taste burn. rug. Look, bird. You see a stuffed eagle on top of one cabinet. Ooh. Look, eagle. Fuck. Can Open. we? Yes. Like we can sniff things, but can we lick things? Oh, good question. Lick S- chair. Game does not understand. Oh, it. come on now. You can probably try to kiss things though. Kiss, kiss, yeah. Chair. That is oh. not clear. Kiss, Fifi. Fifi. Oh, you don't Fifi's feel like kissing you. Her. She's she's dusting your oh, ass Fifi? right now. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. She sees us sniffing everything and she's like, yeah, better. <laughs> better better do this. What about taste? Open cabinet. Mm. Mm. Carefully open the glass door of the cabinet and look inside. Stored within it is the Colonel's rifle collection. Get now we're rifle. talking. <laughs> you don't know how to use a rifle. Anyway, mm-hmm. they're not loaded. That's okay. I don't mind. You can still bash someone's head in with a rifle. Rifle. (laughs) All right. Taste rifle? Ooh. Taste (laughs) rifle. I mean, she must know approximately how to use a rifle. Yeah. Which end the bullets come out of? It's the 20s. Come on. Cowboys were 30 years ago. Everybody knows how to use a gun. Just open the door while she's while she's uh, dusting. <laughs> Cautiously, you peek inside the open door of the cabinet. Not surprisingly, part of the colonel's weapons collection is housed there. Within the cabinet, you see an Australian boomerang, a steel cutlass, a pearl-handled dagger, a mace, and an antique crossbow. Crossbow. Now that's much cooler than a gun cabinet. Yet, boomerang. You wouldn't know how to use it. Get dagger. Yeah, come on. Everybody knows how to use use a dagger. Freak off. Scimitar? (laughs) Cutlass, cutlass. Ah, get cutlass. You wouldn't know how to use it. (laughs) Hold the non-pointy end and swing. Yeah, it's it's a blade with a handle. You grip oh. it by the blunt part, and then you swing the other part around at your problems. <laughs> Even babies know how to use daggers. Come on. Well, you've exhausted all of our options in that room. You know, it's funny because... Then get some. fire. There's that mirror over the fireplace that reflects that back wall, but when we walk by that back wall, we don't see Laura, so I don't know if she's a vampire or what. <gasps> oh, probably. She's a... She's a doink swampier. She's swamp a Dracula. She's a Dracula. <laughs> oh my god. This, well, she doesn't this have a mustache. Explain. So. It's going to explain everything. Maybe she doesn't. Yeah. 
trecula. <laughs> Shitting like a vampire. <laughs> Wichita. <laughs> Oh, what's in this next room? We're about to find out. I am so excited. So excited. I'm so excited. Oh. This old house has a nice big kitchen. It right is. now, you see Celie washing the dinner dishes while Beauregard has found a warm spot by the stove. Look, Celie. Celie is the colonel's cook. She is an overweight black lady who, on the surface, seems to be distant and unfriendly. However, you sense that she is probably a very nice person, just minding her own business. You have heard that Celie practices voodoo, and you wonder about this. Look, Laura Beauregard. thinks about voodoo a lot. Beauregard appears to be a very old and lazy bloodhound. His loose skin hangs in folds, and his long ears almost drag on the ground. You sense that Beauregard must be the colonel's beloved dog. But we have Sniff. to sense it. Mm -hmm. We don't Beauregard. know. Beauregard. There. Now we have performed the ritual. Sniff. We gotta, we gotta pat Beauregard. That's true. Let's go uh, confirm yeah, for I mean, uh, Twitter.com slash can you pet the dog. Pet. Beauregard. I like how you, 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 you keep on doing Beauregard and you probably could just do dog. I, I really respect that. <laughs> the dog has a name. And they gave us it. a name. Yeah. Use his given name. Okay. Oh, there's an animation for it. Hashtag you can pet the dog. Oh, he wags no, his tail. That's but, nice. But, but Alex, I think Luke was right yes. to sniff the dog first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's protocol. Like the, 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 that's protocol. Yeah. Well, that's what the dog would do to you. That's exactly. just dog etiquette. <laughs> We've even been exactly. dusted. Yeah. Get Beauregard. It doesn't appear Get that him. Beauregard wants to move from his spot. Place him in your inventory. Boop. Do I even have an inventory? I have a notebook mm. and pencil. Look. Notebook. <laughs> wow. Read. That's a notebook. <laughs> it's a little bit of a fuck you. You open your notebook and skim through your many notes and observations. I'd love to read that. I wish they actually had it. Use? Sniffed nice, right? the dog. Sniffed Fifi. She smelled good. What do you want to do with the notebook and pencil? Take notes you can't get that uh take make notes make notes <laughs> try another way to say that write write about Beauregard <laughs> in note that is not clear write <laughs> Jesus in a notebook about Beauregard uh. it all fits Surprisingly. From your detective father, you have learned to write down all your notes and observations. Yes, I know. That's what I'm attempting to do. The game is literally telling you. But regards in there. It's in there. You, you got him. To, yeah, He's in no, there. Don't you worry him. about it. We have it been... would be good to read that notebook because uh, like, there happens to be like a mystery going on here. But you got to imagine in most of her life. She's just a nosy asshole. <laughs> just taking notes on everyone in her life. Just a real suspicious lady. Uh, on 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 the flip side, there is no mystery yet. I'm just yeah, wandering around yet. somebody's house sniffing everything and taking you, notes. Yeah, we'll, still, yeah, we will still prove to be right. Yeah. yeah. But for the exactly. moment, we're just an asshole. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I know what it's going to yeah. say. It's going to say, it doesn't look like the colonel plays billiards. This study does not look like he would like this study. I cannot get the <laughs> trombones down from off of this wall. You know? <laughs> Lillian runs around with men. A... Her mother is a, a drunk. Pervert. Jeeves is kind of like hot. <laughs> In a kind of lurchy kind of way. 
OMG, Jeeves is so hot. Like wolf man hot. <laughs> With like a heart. Wolfman. She draws a picture of a wolf. I bet he's a wolf when the when when the full moon tam comes. Oh my. Uh, yeah, mostly she judges and speculates yeah. about people. Yeah. But with Jeeves, she wondered about mm-hmm. him. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. There are two wolves inside of you. One of them is Jeeves. <laughs> Uh, are we are we gonna talk to Seely? Talk to Seely. I gotta. Oh wait a minute, it's not me. <laughs> I've got to <laughs> get these dishes done before the Colonel get mad. Get on with you now. Bye. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Just everybody said bye. Barbasol. Barbasol. Bye. The doors open like <gasps> were... like uh, on this Enterprise. They like just come open. Wow. That's great. They're automatic. <laughs> you are standing at the northeast corner of the house, right outside the kitchen. Beside the kitchen door, you see a doghouse and a cellar door. Cellar door. It's real creepy and dark out here. You shiver at the thought of venturing outside alone. Perhaps you ought to go back inside. Enter doghouse. <laughs> Sniff the doghouse. Sniff. Doghouse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Enter mm. doghouse. Yeah. You don't want to go into the doghouse. It's dirty and smelly in there. Now, at least you know it's smelly and you can see it's that true. it's dirty. It's true. Maybe if we okay. didn't smell it, you would have gone in. Cellar door. That's what... Uh, that, that, yeah. You're not close that, enough. You're right. How much closer do I have to be? Frig off. I'm done. Ah, you try opening the cellar door, but alas! Luke, that pixel. This This is the pixel. Right here, where the gray line diverges slightly. Let's remember that for later. I will remember. This is an odd-looking place. It seems to be a private little garden completely surrounded by a large hedge. You wonder why. Uh, when I was a young lad, uh, my parents, being of sort of rural country stock, we had uh, like an outdoor dog that lived in a doghouse. Oh. And uh, that doghouse was indeed smelly. It wasn't a foul smell, necessarily, but it was a profoundly smelly smell. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Very it dog. Had an odor, and the odor was prevalent. It was it was it was like an atmosphere. Like you could spread that <laughs> smell on toast. Oh. Oh. It's horrifying. This hedge garden is very strange. In the center you see a small fountain, while the nearby statue overlooks it. Perhaps at one time this was someone's place of quiet contemplation. Perhaps. Look, fountain. Uh the dog did come inside when the weather was bad, in case mm-hmm. anyone was concerned <laughs> the fountain <laughs> sits forlornly in the center of the garden look statue we can see her bum we can statue <laughs> bum. a statue of a dancing nymph overlooks the fountain look statues bum <laughs> this game does not understand bum yes Apparently it does, it does. we've does. seen t- two already mm-hmm. Lock eyes statue butthole. <laughs> Lock eyes with statue butthole. I don't think you can see the butthole, guys. This game does not understand butthole. Well, I'm glad we got that dialogue out of it, though. That's a good Light screenshot. Fountain. <laughs> You're not thirsty. <laughs> but Bullshit. I would if I was thirsty. When when you said you could see her bum. Mm-hmm. I immediately thought you meant Laura. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, kind of. Well, yeah, you can see her bum no. there. Yeah. yeah. But not the crack. Yeah, actually, there. if you actually turn to the side and her arm's there, she, it's there. She's got it. A misty bayou. Misty bayou <gasps> waters surround this old plantation, cutting it off from the rest of the world. Better watch your step around here. Mm-hmm. Look at that black... Alligator. Whoa. Look. Croc. Pursue gator. Vicious gators inhabit the swamp surrounding the island. 
I recognize that they're talk. alligators. Gator. <laughs> Gators don't talk. Yeah, but Eat. you do. Gator. <laughs> Gators you don't, don't see any here. Yes, I do, but the dark water may be concealing them. Mm, good work, you can Laura. just easily see them. You'll have to sniff out those gators. <laughs> Gator bait. That was my band name in high school. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. No, I I don't think it was the gator. I think she drowned first. Yeah. I drowned like how deep is the water? That does not just slope inward. It's like weird water that has the same density of air, but is not breathable. So you just fall rather than sink, but still drown. Get a little closer. Jump on, Gator. You don't see any here. With the dark water. Mario right? on two Gator's head. There we oh, go. There we oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen oh, just that Just a little flash of blood. <laughs> you certainly made a succulent meal for that hungry Gator. I bet. I should just grab that sound, that That's music great. clip for uh, for Horror Month. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I've, okay. I've uh, told you guys about uh, my harrowing experience making a swear checker for a children's education game. Wow. <laughs> yes. I think you mentioned it in the past. I have not heard this, please. Don't stop yourself, yeah. Uh, after, like, a some time in game development, I taught myself some programming and took on some programmer tasks. And one interesting challenge was making it so that a uh, children's spelling game that was spelling like four and five letter words never randomly generated the letters for a swear word, which was a surprisingly common problem. Um, and the way to teach a game not to swear is to teach it to swear. It has to know every swear word that exists. And there are documents for this purpose that you just kind of bake into the game. So any children's game that has, like, letters will know every swear word in English language. There's a document in there, a text document, just encoded into it, and that's how it works. But uh, anyway, when I was making this, I sort of had it, like, I had it divide the, uh, you know, um, swear list into collections known as dictionaries so they could be indexed faster and all that good programmery stuff. But I thought it would be fun to read the swear list. <laughs> and it was at first because there was all sorts of strange swears in it, but it quickly devolves into a library of racial swears. Aww. And it ceased to be funny at all. Like, I, I felt so sick because I would get one. I was like, oh, what's that? And then I'd look it up and I'd be like, oh, fuck. And it is, it was awful. Like, I'm a cynical person. I cannot recommend against reading one of those dictionaries enough. <laughs> I bring it up because one of them was Gator Bait. Oh really? Oh really? I, is that a yeah. racial slur? Should I? It, it was typed innocently. We all know you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> no, it is an obscure God. one. It is an obscure one, and I don't want to explain it. It was the that was the exact point where I stopped reading the list because oh. I looked up why Gator Bait is a racial slur, no. and I was I felt so sick and disgusted and horrible and. Uh, yeah, anyway, I just had a visceral flashback to that moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Did the list that have a name? That wasn't my band name. Did it have like a special name to refer to it? Why does this one not uh, have a delete option? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Change the directory. <laughs> <laughs> what if you? It, what if, it? It it was such a long anecdote and it all happened so fast I just couldn't. What if you spelled bait B A T E? Oh, that's a completely different kind of problem. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 uh, a crocodile morphs only fans. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, you're walking along the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. From here, you can see the east edge of the main circular driveway. That's the fucked up thing about racial slurs is like they'll just ruin completely like seemingly innocuous shit that you might just decide to say or write. Now yeah, I'm going to have to look it up to not... see what it is. And I'm going to be very disappointed when I find out what it is. Yeah, because we know, you know, we're going to. Right? Con <laughs> yeah, there, there are contexts in where you might actually need to bait an alligator yeah. with something with like meat or something like that. Um, 
yeah, but anyway, I gather from my uh, unfortunate research that that has certain connotations in the South. I, yeah, I suppose, yeah. <coughs> now, uh, I, I actually, it. I, I learned, uh, I swear, I slur too, not, not too long ago, when I was doing a Let's Play of a game called Legend of the Sword. Um, it, it was made in 1987, I think, by like three British guys or something. And, oh, okay. and I wasn't sure if it was like just a fantasy term or what. But I knew from the context that it didn't look that good. And so I said, I'm not saying that out loud, whatever that is. And does someone know what that? No one knew in chat what it was. But then I asked um, some like Australian and British people. And like, yeah, that's a, a rhyming slang slur thing that they do, which is so goofy that it, it's almost not offensive, but it is offensive. Cockney because I know it's offensive. racism. Yeah, it was weird. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, I won't, I won't share with it with, with, the, with the chat so we don't all have to learn a new thing. But I was uh. like, ooh. I know. I know something. I wish I hadn't. I also apologize it, to everyone who, to <laughs> yeah, through this discussion, has also uh, looked up Gator Bait and learned what it is. Yeah, I just did. How? Oh, oh, did you? It's pretty <laughs> it's, bad. It's not the complicated. Sound of your voice. It's just a bummer. It's, it's yeah. not a bummer. complicated. No. It's just a well, bummer. Well, that's usually how these things go, right? So yeah. yeah. No, no t- typically the people that come up with racial slurs are not geniuses. <laughs> it's true. Go figure. <laughs> but, but you know. The owl is on his nightly rodent patrol. He pays you little attention. Or he pays little attention to you. It'd be funny if it dove for the oh. mouse cursor because it's oh. a mouse. Oh, Hard nice. Car. I like that. Talk owl. <laughs> hoo <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Alex. You have to do all the animal sounds. Oh yes, that's right. Absolutely. Oh, I, I missed the owl. Um, hoo hoo. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you are standing at the south edge of the Bayou Island, looking towards the great old plantation house. An old road runs alongside the plantation's front wrought iron fence. Look at those chimneys just going like smokestacks. Are there two industry two functioning fireplaces that we saw? Like we want, there's one in the colonel's room, but where's the other one? Yep, they're uh, the kitchen, right? Or the library? But that's the only other. Yeah. Side. Oh, kitchen. I think there were a few the actually. House. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think there there were a few um, fireplaces. I don't know that all of them were on, but they were definitely there. Uh, you are at the south the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the old plantation's front wrought iron fence. From here. You can see the west edge of the main circular driveway. Ooh. You're walking alongside the south edge of the Bayou Island. An old road runs alongside the, the old, old plantation, plantation. Front wrought iron fence. Old wrought iron fence. In the old distance, yep. you see an old carriage house. Old. Yeah, exactly. Everything's real old. Old. It's a lovely environment art. Yeah, gorgeous. Breathtaking. Good co- good color palette. Mm-hmm. You have come upon a rundown carriage house. Old crates have been piled before one of the doors. For obvious reasons, it has not been used as a carriage house for some time. Look, squirrel. I see nothing special. Oh, ouch! Well, that's Laura. dismissive. Jesus oh. Christ! Every squirrel is special in its own way. <laughs> Topple crates. Push crates. Yeah, push. That has to work, right? It's a puzzle. It's oh. much too heavy for you to move. Body slam crates. Game does not understand body slam. I've lost all. Fling respect self at crate quest. I want this to turn into like a Sokoban game or whatever. We just push crates <laughs> around the whole plantation. Yeah. Open doors. Just do that yourself. I'm attempting to. There we go. You peer through the gloom of the old carriage house. Parts of a decrepit carriage lie in the right corner, and a small rowboat named Minnow rests in the left corner. Look. Minnow. <laughs> There's a small robot named Minnow in the left corner. <laughs> I thought you said, you sounded like you said there's a small robot in the corner named Minnow. You know. <laughs> Look, <sorry>. okay. robot. <laughs> this game does not understand yeah. robot. <clears throat> no one understands robot. That is why the robot war began. 
Oh, look in boat. You know, because of Phantasmagoria, every time you go into a carriage house now, the carriage has got to go. Hey, Laura, <laughs> come fix me. <laughs> Find my wheels, please. <laughs> You look at the small robot, but do not see anything of interest. Look. Oil can. See an old oil can sitting on the workbench. Get oil can. You're not close enough. Fuck you, Jim Walls. Get oil can. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, the old fuck you, Jim Walls thing. <laughs> look. Carriage. Carriage. You see parts of an old carriage in the right corner. Enter carriage. I'm going to take you for a magical ride. <laughs> you have no reason to get into the old carriage. The reason is that I wish to be inside of it. Yes, I wish to pretend that I am going on a ride through a nicer place. <clears throat> <clears throat> the carriage asked nicely. Yeah. look, It, it didn't, actually. Bro. See nothing special. Get rope. You can't get that. Fuck. Can't get it. Wait. Can we just walk around with that life preserver around our waist the get. whole rest of the game? <laughs> life preserver. Maybe we can cross the swamp that way. There's no use for a life preserver. Little well, do you know, I dense. drowned in a previous yeah, life. Exactly. Get. No use for an anchor. This game has no imagination. <laughs> I have so many Climb uses for a life under preserver carriage. and an anchor. Hide under do, carriage. Do, 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 do. Also, the game is right. That particular squirrel, not special. Sorry. Wow. I know. It's disappointing Matt to find squirrel out. Squirrel elitist here. <laughs> You're standing at the west side of the circular gravel driveway leading to the old plantation house. Old. Old circular driveway. That's right. Old plantation house. You have come upon a ramshackle little playhouse. Hanging from a nearby tree, you see an old rope swing. It is also old. Seeing these long ago <laughs> playthings makes you wonder about the children who used to the live old here who children. are likely now old. <laughs> <You're> still... <laughs> <laughs> I like the word ramshackle. Yeah, it's great. I wonder how it's, what, it's not used like enough. the derivation of ramshackle. Like, what? How does that mean? Like worn down when you shackle a ram? Where does that? Yeah, where does that word come from? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> ramshackle. Oh, there's that squirrel again. Get him, Laura. That's a different one. Oh, that's a I different. I like that blue Doctor Seuss slime on the ground there. Ride right. yeah. swing. That is not clear. Get in swing. Gingerly, you sit in the swing. Are you dead? You concussed? Nope. How embarrassing. I just broke something. Okay, cool. Now, if and when I get married, if murdered, it will be uh, justified. Oh, it comes from the word ransack. Oh. Yeah, I was just looking that up. Wow. I was just about to say, if it turns out to be a racial slur, I'm just going to leave the call and let you guys go on without me. <laughs> you attempt to open the playhouse door, but discover it's locked. Oh, kick it open! I never knew kick it could that be shit. Yeah. Keep those children. I away. feel like until someone dies, everything's decorative. <laughs> <laughs> You're standing at the northwest corner of the house, right outside the colonel's study. I don't know what Dr. Seuss book it is, but there's one where there's some sort of a creature eating thick blue slime off the ground, and I just can't unsee these puddles as the thick blue Dr. <laughs> Seuss slime. That's you awful. never know. Maybe that's what it is. You see a rusted iron bell at the top of an old bell tower oh. that is also old. A rope dangles on a, sh a short distance beneath the bell while the ladder runs up the tower's side. Behind a weathered fence, you also notice mm -hmm. the remnants of the old, old plantation's fields, which are also old. Old. <laughs> like, they got weathered in there. There's clearly <laughs> no few synonyms, but they're struggling. Yeah. Wow, oh. I didn't even have to type. Wow, Laura. I just went. Oh, well, a bat flew out. Admire. 
Belle. This game does not understand and admire. Well, she clearly Look, is. Belle. Dusty cobwebs covered the old bell that over the years has rusted in place that is oh. also oh. old. Yeah. Push bell. We can't do that. Punch ring it? Yeah, ring it. Bell. We need to pull on the rope to ring the bell. Get rope. You're not close enough. Yes, I am. The rope is hanging down Climb below. Inside. Hmm. Where's she going? She's doing oh, something. Oh, oh. oh no, she she's stopped. Do wow, you just climbed down. Now just go get that rope. Ring that bell, wake everybody up. Everybody's still awake anyway. Pull rope. You reach up and try to grab the ring attached to the end of the rope. You don't try hard enough. Jump, Laura. The short rope is too high for you to reach the ring. She could, Come on, really. Laura. If you look, you could outstretch her arm. You could just jump three inches, Laura. She just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> That's not a can do Make attitude. Make tall friend. <laughs> Jeeves could do I it. Really... Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeeves could do it. You could I ring bet Jeeves the bell. Rings that bell all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can ring my bell. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Over out, out the back door, a garden path encircles a small statue, then continues on through a lovely rose arbor. Oh, yeah. Look. That's nice. Statue. Mm -hmm. This is an exquisite statue of a dancing satyr. I don't know why every time I try to type statue, I type statue. Statue. <laughs> statue. <laughs> The colonel. D this does look like a like a portal into the realm of madness or hell or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that. it could be. Enter a portal. The colonel doesn't look like the sadder type. I'm surprised <laughs> he has it in his garden. <laughs> this is a oh, wonderful little See? garden. You what wonder who planted it? Mm -hmm. Certainly not the colonel. Wow, Definitely a, not the goddamn colonel. That's a weird assertion to make. Somebody who if, farmed on a pl or who at least ran a plantation for a very long time. She actually like she Somebody knows who, him. She doesn't yeah, know him. Yeah. You feel better now that you're in the house. It was scary out there. It was not. <laughs> Come on. The game wants you to believe that it was scary. Well, we did drown and then get eaten by an alligator. <laughs> Kim King Grimshaw. <laughs> I I missed that. I'm sorry. Mm, all right. So what now? Push armor. Dress the armor. Oh, hopelessly rusted. You can't. Oh ah, yes. Oil oh, armor. Burn. Yeah. Which part uh -huh. of the armor would you like to oil? Oil gauntlet. Gauntle. <laughs> gauntlet. Oil arm? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whoop, whoop. That's the E key to exit. Where did we get oil? From we, bought, we picked up mm. oil can. Mm. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh. Are we made of cake? <laughs> <laughs> We're just one of those, like, fondant, uh, <laughs> like, you know. Fake things made of cake. It's hard to tell well, in this with resolution. Disturbingly yeah, realistic yeah. organs. Mm -hmm. Laura is a southern belle. You never know. Made of cake. Mm -hmm. Man, Got you can see everything. Splitting headache, Laura. Yep. Some lucky pixel artist yeah. got to anime Laura Bell getting bisected by an axe. Oh, yeah. It was great. Oh, we've snooped around. That are we going to sleep? I don't think we can. Oh. This is a cozy guest room which Gloria and Gertie are sharing. Oh. Act two. Oh, this is... What? <laughs> he looks can awfully you, tired. Perhaps you Can you kiss her? Can you kiss her awake? Oh, kiss Gertie. <laughs> Gertie's tired. Leave her alone. Leave her the fuck alone. Uh, to make sure that she's asleep, we better smell her, though. Smell yeah, good. Hey, Gertie. Alex. Make Jesus, sure she's still you. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's good. good. That's perfect. Yeah, she smells asleep. We should leave her alone. <laughs> she smells asleep. 
She's emanating that. She's emanating that oh. good sleep smell. Oh, this appears to be another guest room that Rudy and Clarence are. That sharing. ain't Clarence. <gasps> Leave me alone, you you cad. Mm-mm-mm. I can't believe she slapped me. <laughs> yes, I can. Rudy. Rudy is having a drink while relaxing in his room. Talk, Rudy. You know, Laura, <laughs> you're a very attractive girl. Are you really friends with Lillian? You don't seem to be her type. Come on over here. Mm. Relax. Have a drink. No way, buddy. Buddy? Now I've heard everything. Well, there's something, like, white on the ground. Is there something white on the ground? Yeah. <gasps> a clue! It looks like, like a white whipped cream or something. Yeah. Looks like someone dropped a white handkerchief on the floor. Get. A hand looks like somebody. Kerchief. Looks like somebody dropped a pint of mayonnaise on the floor. <laughs> Smell it. You never know. Oh, wait. Okay. No, okay. Oh. Smell. Hand oh, na kerchief. naturally. A handkerchief. Oh, no. Damn it, I had it right the first time. Mm. Mm, it's not good. <gasps> Did something happen in here? A small table is lying on its side near a wide open window. Is that cigar smoke you smell? Oh. Oh my god. Something's happened. I love that animation. That's amazing. No, no, us encountering Rudy reminded me. Um, when I was playing, um, doing my Let's Play of Loom, um, I actually did my best, attempted a, my best Skeletor impression um, doing the voice for Bishop Mandible. Because Bishop Mandible, <laughs> just the name Bishop Mandible sounds like something Skeletor would say really easily. So I was like, Bishop <laughs> Mandible! You know, so. I gave up eventually. I'm like, I'm tired of doing this. I'm stopping. So, I mean, I totally admire Matt's commitment to the voice. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. I, uh, I'm doing my best. Yeah, Matt, Matt is, is the king of committing to the bit, and we all <laughs> appreciate it very much. Look outside. <laughs> Curiously, you peer through the open window into the darkness outside. Looking downward, you think you see something, but can't make out any details. <laughs> what do you mm. mean, see something? What the fuck Down. does that mean? A small table has been knocked over and spilling a pot of plant on the floor. Sniff the plant. Sniff. Plant. Sniff. Air. We truly <laughs> need to treat Laura like she's some sort of dog person. <laughs> It's she the way to go. This is how we're behaving. She's even got yeah. just like, wandering her hair around looks staring like at people. Dog ears. <laughs> did you say something about floppy dodgers? I did. Floppy <gasps> dodgers. Someone's walking outside on the second story veranda. Who could it be? Veranda's a lovely girl's name. Veranda. This is veranda. my cousin Veranda. Mm hmm. My cousin Veranda. My niece Cousin. Pergola. Pergola. Don't walk in the center. Oh. Remember what I taught you about interrogation, Laura. Don't forget to ask questions. If you ask Lillian about Gloria, you might get more information about Gloria, or at least how Lillian feels about her. That sort of information could be very useful. Thank you, it's game, for teaching me about something that I can actually do. It's like, da hey, Dad, no problem. Dad, you don't know who Gloria is. How do you I do. give me this advice? I'm Gloria, and I go way back. One important tool a good detective uses, besides asking questions of people, is to selectively reveal information to them and listen to their response. If you tell Gloria about Fifi, you may receive additional information about Fifi. Or at least what Gloria thinks of her. Honey, if you, if you found any in items you're confused about or would like more information about, just try showing it to others, you know? 
they may reveal more information about it to you. My eyes are super pink. Thanks, Daddy. I got problems, Laura. <laughs> She's just, she just stood at the bottom of the stairs for two calendar minutes in <laughs> silence and then said, thanks, Daddy, to the open air. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's, that's, that's normal. That's fine. Is her dad dead? <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? I don't All know. All I know for sure is that he's the guy from Glass Onion, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is the southwest corner of the mansion, right outside the billiard room. Oh, no! Oh, dear. It looks as if Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Or was it an accident? Hide body. <laughs> Sniff Gertie. Kiss Most Gertie. Body. Sniff. God, we should have woke her up, eh? Yeah, man. Oh, well. Kiss, Gertie. <coughs> oh. Oh, I like that the game acknowledged that. They knew someone would type that, and they're like, you know what? Fuck you a little bit. Search, <laughs> Gertie. You quickly examine Gertie's body and see that she died of a broken neck. You can see no clues as to what might have happened. For just a second, I was sure you were going to say heart. <laughs> you a broken heart. Look, neck. See nothing special, aside from the fact oh, that it's yeah. broken. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm beat. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> This is boring. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> now you gotta restore the game and, and go back to Gertie and scream at her that she's gonna die. Tell Gloria happen. about Gertie. Mother? Oh no, it can't be! Oh. <laughs> the music. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It's not the music you want there to be playing over the radio or whatever when you witness a murder. <coughs> now go. Oh. You're very mean. There's nothing there. What the fuck? Can you turn off this racket? <laughs> and, and, and Laura's like, what did you say? What? I can't hear you. that Gloria is more in the mood to listen to music than to talk to you. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, no. Did Gertie just fake Somebody hid neck? that body so fast. Maybe Such we're not body. exactly a coroner. Maybe it wasn't broken. Maybe her heart was broken. Uh, yeah. Or this is a zombie game and she just kind of scurried away. <laughs> She's up I in mean, a tree somewhere. <laughs> We're seeing visions of our father. Maybe we're seeing it. Maybe there's a lot of hallucinations happening here. You are standing in front of the old plantation house right by the front door. Blah, 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 blah. What are we going to do? Mat. There's nothing under the doormat. Open door. Just to yourself. You have to pick one. Yeah. Well, well, that was, uh, yeah, what a cliffhanger what? to leave this episode on. This almost hour long episode. What? Oh, as far as I know, only 15 minutes have passed. It's true. Oh. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, we didn't even do minutes, any. 15 minutes, but not 30. <laughs> we didn't even do Colonel's Big Questions. Oh. That's true. We'll have to get a few of those in uh, next episode. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Colonel's be questions. <laughs> Damn. Well, yeah. This episode. is an intriguing game. I'm very impressed by it. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think, honestly, like, some of Sierra's best work was not, it was like the games that weren't their normal point and click adventure games. Agreed. Like,. Uh, Quest for Glory, you know, whole ass RPG game mm -hmm. that just happened to have like puzzle elements and point and click elements. 
this murder mystery, which is somehow, despite the fact being like, you know, uh, mystery house and stuff like that, is not key and lock puzzles all over the place. So, you know, massive kudos to uh, Roberta Williams, apparently, mm-hmm. the creator of this one. So, legend. <laughs> legend. Absolute legend. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks for, hey. Thanks for tuning your internet dials in. We yep. appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do. We know it's hard to turn your dials to this specific frequency. Yeah. But we appreciate it every time. We do. For sure. Broken wrists, broken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Electrocuted. But, you know, we hope you think it's worth it. Uh, we'll see you next time when we answer some Colonel's be questions. Ooh. Trust. Stick and stay, everybody. <laughs> Stick and stay. Yeah, they already said it. Oh, should I say it? Stick and stay.